now and then, you have to make biscuit joints towards the middle or in the face of a board. As you can see here, I'm making a small shelving unit, and I've, uh, I'm using biscuit joints to attach the shelf to its support. I put biscuit slots in the ends of the shelf, but here I've had to put them two and a half inches in from the edge of the board, right in the face. Now, in order to do this, you need to set up your biscuit joint, your biscuit joiner, so it's horizontal. It's on the, it's model on the Mark V, but it's actually laid down. Uh, we're going to use the miter gauge and this auxiliary fence to guide our work. The first thing we do to set this up is adjust the end of the fence so that it's even with the blade of the biscuit cutter. Actually, it's even with the middle of the blade of the biscuit cutter. That way, we can use the end of the fence as an indicator uh, for where to position our board. Next, I'm going to get my tape measure and back up the auxiliary fence so that the face is exactly two and a half inches from the midpoint uh, on the biscuit joint, tightening the, the tapered nut in the miter gauge bar. This locks the miter gauge in the slot so it can't move. Okay, one more thing to do. On the, um, on the table, we, I have mounted a stop collar on the post, the sole purpose for the table. And I'm going to adjust that stop collar so that when the face of the biscuit joiner is completely depressed, the surface of the table is uh, even with it. That's good, right there. Okay. Now I'll raise the table. And we're ready to make the cut. Here's the other support that I've marked. I'm going to notice that I've done the marking on the back side of the support. That way I can see that I can see them. We're going to cut the slots in the other side. I put the wood up against the miter gauge face. The line that indicates where I want the slots is even with the end of the miter gauge. I'm going to clamp the wood on the table so that it, it doesn't shift while I'm doing this. And then I'm going to put on some eye protection. And we're ready to make the first cut. One down. Now to make um, the cut on the other side of the board, all I have to do is reverse it edge for edge. Now in this case, since I'm making these cuts so they line up, I'm going to use the same line, uh, even with the end of the miter gauge extension. But in this case, the board is overbound, so I really need that, uh, that uh, clamp. Ready? Here we go. how we did. There you go. Two slots in the face of a board right in line. I'm Nick Engler uh, with the National Woodworking Academy at Shopsmith and uh, we hope to see you here soon. At Shopsmith's website you'll find dozens of free videos on all kinds of woodworking projects from preparing lumber to applying a finish. Twice a month, we webcast a two-hour sawdust session where you can ask questions and get woodworking help right over your computer. To find out more, come visit us at shopsmith.com.